Good evening ladies, and welcome to your first day of etiquette class, I'm your teacher, Madam Lee, now before we begin our lesson, I want all to introduce yourself to me so I can get to know you, except for Princess Blossom cause I already know you, you young lady in purple, you start first. Hello, my name is Uma. I am the Princess Fairy Sparkling Planet. It's an honor to meet you, Madam Lee. Hello, my name is Mulan. I am the Princess Pixie Nature Planet. It's an honor to meet you, Madam Lee. It's nice to meet all of you, and I'll have wonderful names and good manners. Anyways, to begin our today's lesson, we're all going to head to the other room. Alright girls, to start off with your lesson, each of you will get a turn of pouring me a cup of tea, I will watch you how you likely pour the tea, Blossom, you first. Thank you, you may return to your seat. Next up, Lula, please come up to the table. Thank you, you may return to your seat. Next up. Uma, please come up to the table. Thank you, you may return to your seat. And last, Mulan, please come up to the table. Thank you, you may return to your seat. I'm very impressed, you all pour the tea very nice. Well done girls. Thank you Madam Lee. Now then. We will start our next lesson, will learning about meeting etiquette. To learn how give a greeting to someone, politely shake hands or bow down, like this, morning when you introduce yourselves to me, you bow down like this like you all did this morning, and... <coughs> Ugh, what going on? <coughs> what is the cause of me too? <laughs> to sneeze. I know Madam Lee, this was evil shibby boy, he used a type of spray bottle to cause you to sneeze, and he's right behind you. Yeah, it was me, I spray you with this pollen spray that I collect from the flowers back at Earth, and you're sneezing like crazy which is too hilarious. <laughs> Oh, 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 my, God, evil shibby boy, how dare you spray me with pollen, that is not funny and that caused me to sneeze, that's it, I sending you back where you belong. Bless you Madam Lee, here is a hanky. <laughs> Thank you Blossom, I feel much better now, and that's the step of being polite, well done. Thank you Madam Lee. Now then, let's continue our lesson. Evil shibi boy, how dare you go to some random planet to spray pollen on someone, that's it, you are grounded for three weeks, go to bed right now. Like I don't care, I just like to have fun. <laughs> Oh! 
Hello Katara, how are you? We feel sorry for you Katara. You might have gotten sick while visiting me at my home planet I see snow blizzard, is very cold. <coughs> Maybe next time when you come visit my planet, make sure you wear something warm so you won't catch a cold. By the way, we got you a gift to make you feel better. We got you a bag of gems that we found in Planet Lapis Gloom C. Hope you like it. You're welcome. Look at those feet. They look nice. I'm going to touch it and tickle her feet while she's still talking. Katara, is something the matter? You seem to be shocked. Um Katara, you nod under your covers, he right here behind me. Her feet feel soft, I could stay here and touch them all day. Oh. Um, hey there, nice feet you have. Ouch, that hurts, cut it out. Why? Oh shut up, you deserve it for touching our best friend eats, you freak. Evil man, you did it again, we couldn't believe you with to some random planet to touch a girl feet, like what the heck is your problem? It's because I wanted to feel her feet and tickle it, that's why. Really bro, you did that so you can feel her feet, you're disgusting and such a pervert to women's. Your brother is right, and since you touch a girl's feet, you're grounded for five weeks, and while you're in the hospital, they would serve you lumpy potatoes for every meal including dessert. We're leaving now, see you when you get out of the hospital. Ouch, man, that creature can leave a mark. Thank you girls for this bachelor party, and thank you Misaki for making a reservation to this special hot spring spa. You're welcome Courtney, I only did it just for you. We all happy for you that you and Timothy are getting married soon. Are you excited to get married? Yeah, I'm so excited to marry Timothy, since last time he asked me to marry him on my birthday, I was shocked to hear those words he just said to me. You and Timothy make a lovely couple. Since you two started dating each other, you have a wonderful relationship. I know, this is the reason why I love her so much. As soon as we're done relaxing in the hot springs, you want to head to the buffet to get something to eat. Yeah Lucy, I am a bit hungry after relaxing and soaking in the hot springs, let's go eat. Boy, this sure is a really nice buffet they have. Yeah, this is pretty good. Which remind us, we have a wedding present for you. You have a gift for me, what is it? Open it up see. Okay. Oh, my, is a wedding dress, and is look like the same dress that Princess Peach wear at the wedding in Super Mario Odyssey, is so beautiful, thank you. This is a special gift you gave me. You're welcome Courtney, the mermaids from Lake Kingdom made that dress for you and we pay them a lot, and we think you'll look beautiful in that dress on your wedding day. When we done eating the food, how about we all head back to the hot springs and relax? Sure, I'll just put my dress into our room. What's this I see? A wedding dress, it must be Courtney's dress, cause I saw the video of her announcement of her getting married of her boyfriend Timothy. Which gives me a idea, I'm going to ruin her by ripping it so she has nothing to wear at the wedding. Well that was fun, I can't try on my. 
dress. Hey, Cindy, what you think you're doing to Courtney dress? Uh oh, I caught redheaded. Cindy, what have you done to my dress? Um, 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 um. Cut it out with the um, 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 um crap. Just spit it out already. Okay, okay. Geez, I ruin your dress by cutting it up with my scissors so you don't have nothing to wear at your wedding. I only did that for revenge because you got me grounded two times in the row. I'm really sorry. Would you forgive me? Mr. and Mrs. O'Neill, this is Christina. I'm calling you to inform that your daughter Cindy ruined my best friend's wedding dress that she's supposed to wear at her wedding. Can you both ground her for this? Okay, thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> My wedding is ruined. Cindy ruined my dress and I have nothing to wear at my wedding. We're sorry that Cindy ruined your dress, girl. Me and Christina pay a lot of money for it. Oh wait, just remember, I have spare wedding dress for you, Courtney. Huh, got spare wedding dress, Molly. Oh Molly, is beautiful, is same dress as the old one that Cindy ruined. You're the best friend I ever have, thank you. You're welcome, and hope you and Timothy have a wonderful wedding day. Oh, 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 Cindy, are you kidding me right now? We cannot believe you ruined Courtney's wedding dress. You know that ruin someone's dress is the wrong thing to do, especially for her coming wedding day. That's it. You are grounded until the wedding day has come. Go to your room right now, young lady. What? Uh...